Hello everybody, my name is Francis, and today I want to demonstrate how you can ethically hack a Windows machine using um, Social Engineering Toolkit, which comes with Kali Linux, okay? So without wasting time, this is Kali. Hopefully you can see it clearly. I'm interested in Social Engineering Toolkit, so I go search it. It is otherwise called set, all right? So I select it here and obviously enter my password. Um, and um, yeah, we jump in here, all right? So you can see straight up, it tells you or it asks you um, what you want to do, okay? There are a few options that you can follow here, all right? So if you look, the first one says social engineering attack, all right? So that's what we want to demonstrate. So I'm gonna select option one, okay? Um, and then after you select option one, it's gonna ask you, um, you know, the next thing, the kind of attack, the kind of thing you want to do, starting from here, okay? So there are a few things that you can do. And one of them is to create a payload, okay? And a listener. So what does this does? What this does is create like a malware, okay? Which you are potentially going to send to, um, you know, to somebody through social engineering, for instance, through email. Um, and then when they're able to click the link you've given them and download it, then you will be able to take over their machine. Okay, so let's select option four. Um, so even after we select option four, there are still a few more options to, to look at. Okay, um, so we have the option number one, which says Windows shell reverse TCP and send back to attacker. Okay, so that's definitely something you can do. Um, but let's say we are interested in option five, which says window, Windows Metapreter reverse TCP. Um, you know, so that's what we are interested in, Windows Metapreter reverse TCP. So let's select option five, okay? Um, and then it's gonna ask us for the IP of the host. So this is the IP of the machine of the attacker, okay? So the machine you are listening at. So obviously to get that, I can just write I have config, something like that. And I can see the IP just by here, okay? So maybe copy it, if that's, that works better. And uh, I paste it. Um, yeah, paste. That's it. So now it's gonna ask me for the port number that I want to be listening at, okay? Um, so we can just select um, any port number of our choice, really, okay? So let's say we select port number um, 1020, okay? Something like that, um, and it's here, okay? So um, like I said, you can select any port number of your choice, right? So now it says it's generating the payload. Um, so we just need to be patient and wait for it. Okay, so now it says, um, do you want to um, start the payload uh, perhaps? Okay, so we can start this now or start it later, but let's say we decide to start it now, right? Now we are kind of done here. Okay, it says it's starting up. Um, well, not quite done, but yeah. So what I can do now is to go to this place. Maybe now I can, you know, switch to super user. Um, when we when we generated the payload, it says this is where the payload is. Okay. So um, I'm gonna try to look for that payload. Okay, because I want to send want to send it across to somebody to download and install on their machine, okay? Um, that would be the concept of the social engineering thing. So let's say now I just want to switch to super user, okay? Um, I could do that like so and uh, enter my password, okay? Um, okay, so just ignore the message, okay? And just let's just uh, let's just go ahead, okay? So now I'll try to list to see if I can find the um, I can find the payload or where the payload has been stored, okay? So I use ls la for that, and this is what I get. Um, 
So if you look at here, I can see set, okay? And if you look here, it says the folder where the payload is, is set as well, all right? So my interest is set and I can go to set. Um, yeah, try to go to set, see if it completes that way. Now I'm at set, all right? And I can try to list what is at set um, and I have the payload here. So this is the payload I am interested in, okay? So something I can do now is, you know, how do I send the link of this um, payload to somebody, you know, who um, an attacker may be wanting to target or if I'm doing pen testing to see if, you know, somebody can click on it, okay? So for that, uh, we can do a few things. Um, so one of them is try to make this machine a server, okay? So the machine that we are in, so this machine, we try to make it a server somewhat. So I can do that by, for instance, uh, Python. Um, so let's say I want to do Python, um, you know, simple HTTP server. server. So let me just pass this parameter there and then say, um, HTTP dot, um, you know, dot server, okay, something like that. And uh, maybe specify the port number to be 80, okay? Um, so let's try it and see if that command, um, okay. So um, I think they probably type. So let me check that. Okay. Um, so that was a typo there. And um, now I'm listening, okay? So what this means is that this is a server, all right? So this, this thing is a server and I can access this particular folder from anywhere, okay? So that's equivalent to um, sending a link, okay? So if I go to a second machine, so for instance, I have Windows and um, I go to a second machine, okay? Like, like you're seeing here, if I type, for instance, the IP address of that machine, which you saw earlier on, um, and then the port number, um, I would be able to get this payload like this, okay? So now I can download the payload. So let me see if I can refresh that. Um, give, it a, give it a few seconds, so yeah. It's a bit slow, but yeah. So basically, um, this thing represents the link that you will be sending to the person, all right? And, um, you know, once they click the link and uh, get your payload on their machine, you will be able to perform actions that you want. So it's a bit slow, but let's give it time, okay? So it took some time, um, but uh, it now opened. So we are able to access that server. And as you can see, these are the things that was in that folder, okay? If I go back to the Kali to show you, so these are, this is the thing you are seeing now. So because you've made this machine a server, um, anyone on the internet can access it. Another thing to note is the port 80. So use the wrong, uh, the right port. So I think I made a mistake in the port initially. So maybe that would have contributed to the delay as well. So, but it's finally loaded, okay? Um, and what we're going to do is to try to download that on the victim machine, okay? So click on that. So we say keep it, okay? So now it's downloaded. Let's try to open the file. Um, obviously, when you're installing um, different kinds of application, you will see warning, but let's say in this case, you want to run it. Let's see if it runs. So how do we check that? We go back to our listener and see if a session has been opened for us. So you see here, if you look, it says Metaprita session 23 opened. Okay, so that's what the attacker gets on their end when you know the victim successfully clicks on the link and um, downloads their malware, right? So now what we can do is we can try to explore. Um, we can try to explore that session that has just opened. Um, so for instance, it says a session uh, twenty three. So what I'm going to type is then um, something like. Uh, 
sessions um maybe yeah so if i wanted to list all the yeah so let me just type sessions uh one so sorry about the typo i'm using a different keyboard from my normal keyboard right so session 23 that's what it tells us let's see if we can access it and now we can so you can see here okay so we have a metapreter session open um how do we know if we are now in the victim's machine? So actually now what is happening is we are actually on the victim's machine. So we can issue instruction remotely and do whatever we want on their machine, okay? So we know that this machine is a Linux machine. So what if we try to then um, issue commands such as uh, system info, which would you know normally work in Windows, right? So let's see, and as you can see, this is working. It tells you uh, the computer that you are on, okay? And it tells you the OS, all right? So this tells you that this machine, this is not, you're not on the Kali machine. You are now on that Windows machine. And uh, from here, you can just do whatever thing uh, you want to do, okay? So for instance, if you wanted to see what's there, um, you can see these files are the files that you have on that, on that, um, victim machine so on the machine that you've now attacked and if you decide to delete any file or rename any file you can absolutely do that so that's it guys that's how you hack through a victim machine and uh, take it over if you wanted to encrypt all the files in this machine in that case it would be a ransomware attack you can absolutely do that if you want to wipe away like just delete you can just issue commands and you delete every file that you want to delete so now you completely have control over, over this machine. And the reason is that you've sent them a link, which is this, and they've, you know, they've clicked on the link and uh, now installed your mod. So they've clicked on the, they don't need to even run through different, um, you know, answering different questions that you would normally do when you're installing malware, when you're installing software. So for instance, clicking next, next, next. In this case, um, once they've clicked it, um, yeah, the attacker, as you saw on the other machine, gets a prompt and now they have full control over that machine. Um, this is a basic attack. There can be more. So this attack assumed that there was no, um, for instance, um, you know, um, anti-malware on, on the victim machine, but in, in real life or in real world, there will be. Um, so if you want to then attack a machine that has, um, you know, sophisticated anti-malware, then you need to then kind of uh, evade those by somehow wrapping up your malicious code, maybe around a code that seems um, to be good. Uh, but that's subsequently. Um, do check out the, sec the, the channel um, in the future and we may be able to address those. Thank you very much uh, for listening. Please consider subscribing. Cheers.